Hello everybody, this is Lori from Art Lore, and it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, I'm trying to do videos and um, I don't know, I live in Michigan and the winter sucks and I have not been in the mood to do just about nothing. So today I'm painting. So let's see how we do here. Uh, first of all, my base paint um, is a new paint. It's the PPG Multi Pro Interior. And it's this one here. And hold on, there we go. And um, Karen from Waterfall Acrylics, I need to check her out. She's amazing. I take lessons from her. She's so good, so awesome, and she's hilarious. Um, she recommended it on one of her recent videos, so I thought I would give it a whirl. Um, today, the first color is going to be this one here. It's really pretty. This one is Liquitex Deep Violet. Yep. And the next one is Light Olive Green, and that is also Liquitex. Pretty cool. I love this color. And I love all colors. And then the other one is Artist Loft Aqua Green, but I added just a scant of white just to kind of break it up just a teeny little bit. It looks blue on my phone, but it's really not. Um, and the last one is Nickel Azzle Gold by Golden. And I'm going to lay them down in order of what I just um, showed you because we've got uh, opaque, semi-opaque, and then I think that as of gold is transparent. I don't know. It didn't, I don't know how to read the little label thing, but I think that says, I think it's showing transparent. So we'll see. If I'm wrong, correct me. So, okay, we're gonna see if I'm gonna smash it or if I'm gonna trash it. So let's get started and make a mess. So I think I'm gonna start right here, kind of not center, but off center. Looks like that green might just be a little bit thick, so I may have to thin that down just a bit. My paints have been sitting a while. Some of these I made up today, but my pouring medium, which is uh, the 8300 and um, the polycrylic mint wax. Uh, two to one. Two to one. Ooh, I kind of like these colors together. These are pretty. I was hoping they'd be kind of different and fun. I've never used the Azel Gold, so this whole painting is based on the Azel Gold. I just mixed up some of these paintings, like I said, and I've got bubbles, stratted bubbles. Okay. There we go. Actually, forgot my cell activator. Yeah. And it's three to one. Amsterdam, Lamp Black, and the Aussie Flow Troll. All right, let's get this going here. This out just a little bit. I am going to blow this with a blow dryer, and then when I'm done, I'm going to spin. So we'll see how this works. And I hope I can blow it dry with a blow dryer. I really struggle with that, and that is what my lessons are with Karen. And we shall see. 
Okay, cool air. Um, I'm gonna do start out with low fan and see what happens. Okay, so that's not so bad. And I'm going to try and keep the center black. Um, so if the cells come up, the cells come up. If they don't, that would be great because I'm gonna try and keep a couple of these um, black. Um, just for something different. I'm gonna put a little bit more on the edge here because I wanna be able to blow that out a little further. Go as planned, but it's okay. The colors are, are so pretty. I'm really liking this palette a lot. All right, I love this base paint. I'm actually going to go a little bit more here. Put a bloom right there. Okay, we're gonna go into the same, um, we're going to go in the same manner, the deep violet. I think I'll do it right there. I've gotta get my, I need to add just a little bit of Next to that, bring that down a little bit. There we go, that's better. That was the light out of green, now the aqua with the white. So pretty, that azo gold is gorgeous. No wonder everybody loves it so much. Don't wanna overdo it, but geez, I think I'll put a little more. Yummy. All right, let's see what we got there. Oh, it is selling up. But that's okay, it's not selling up too much. It's not overdoing it. Oh, there's those go away. Eternal bubbles. Die, die, die. Okay. Now my, my blow dryer has five settings. So when I say low, I'm on the second setting. I am not on the lowest setting. Um, in my past life, I was a hairdresser, so I get things at cost. I just go to the wholesale store and I get things at cost. But this is the Paul Mitchell Pro Tools Express Ion Turbo Light Plus. And it has five settings and the cool button, which you can just press and it stays cool. You don't have to hold it. Um, I've got plastic on it, but this is what it looks like. There we go. Whoop, where are you? There we go. And it has five settings, five different fan settings. 
and hot and cold, and then the cold shot, which you, there's the button, and you can just press the button and, and it's cold and it stays on. Okay, so here we go. heavy right there oh boy um hopefully that'll come off when i spin it no guarantees though all right we're going to go for another one right here and then i'll do another one there I'll do less paint this time. I think I overdid it a little bit on that corner, the end one. All right. Oh. oh, these bubbles are just going to irritate me, but it'll go away. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's selling up quite nice. Not too bad, but boy, that is very heavy through there. Ooh. All righty, here we go. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit right there. So it definitely goes off the edge. All right, here we go. Super pretty. Okay, one more. Here we go. Bring this over to the edge. That helped with not having as much paint, but it's still, I don't know, I think maybe the pillow might have been too heavy. But I guess I'd rather have too much than not enough. I don't know. It's always a mystery.
Okay. Very pretty colors. So far, I feel like I've smashed it and I don't want to trash it. Um, we'll see what happens when I spin it. And I also may end up tilting. We'll see. So for now, I'm going to move my paints because I've done that before. I've spun and then everything that spun off went into my paints. So learn from your mistakes. Let's get that over the edge a little bit. All right. Boy, it is thick in the center. A little bit there, get that off the corner. If you're spinning. I'm just kind of procrastinating a little bit because I'm waiting for this over here to see if it's done moving back into the center. So far, this base paint is lovely. Now, I did add GAC 800 to it because, I don't know, my art room is weird. I've got it set at, you know, for 70, but who knows? It's always different sometimes. We have two furnaces, so I can set the controls for downstairs and then set the controls for upstairs, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it's always... I mean, it's warm in here, but I don't know if it's warm enough. Okay, let's give it a spin and see what happens. And I'm not going to give it a real hard spin, just, you know... Pretty good spin just to see if I can get some of this off and we'll see what happens. So here we go. Well, I knew I was going to lose the end ones, which is okay. I knew that. But it sure would be nice if I could keep this. That's pretty. But I have a feeling that's not going to happen. Um, some of the paint in the center has left the building, which is good. So now I'm going to go in the opposite direction. Give it a spin, a gentle spin that way. And just see what happened. Yeah, I lost it, but that's okay. I think I had too much pillow, but that's all right. Next time I won't do that. This is my first time using it, so um, yeah. Sure is pretty. I love these colors. No more spinning. I still I feel like there's a lot of paint there still in the center. Uh, let's see. I 
would have been nice to have one more bloom stay on there, but I don't mind this here. That's still quite pretty. I don't know if I like just two. I don't like doing things in twos. Um, I'm gonna check this in the center. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Not bad at all. Bubbles. I don't no, if I want to add another one here, maybe just one more. I don't know. Tell me what to do. It is quite pretty. I don't want to, I don't want to trash it because right now it's quite pretty. I'm pondering. Popping bu bubbles and thinking of what I want to do. What if... No, nope, I'm not going to stretch it. I like it the way it is. Um... I think I'm going to try and put a little something right there and then spin it again, blow it dry, blow it out, spin it, and then I've got my third, even if it just kind of comes off the edge, um, that would be fine. So I'm going to just add a little tiny bit of paint right here. Maybe let's see. Yeah, I guess that would be all right. I don't know if I want to because this is the petal over with this one. Um, oh my gosh. I'm going to go right here. Just a little bit. This little activator after this. Watch me do this and then it'll, I'll spin it and it'll come all off again. All right, pray for me. Here we go.
All right, now this one here, I think I'll give it a little boost. And then get ready to start spinning because the paint is drying. That was stupid. Like I said, oh, oh, I got paint up my nose. I probably screwed this whole thing up, but oh well. I can spin it and maybe just get it off from there. Weird. Let's keep going. See if I can spin some of that off. I knew that would happen. I can just keep going. And keep getting it off that corner and just have a little bit of the black showing. That would be better. There still is a lot of paint coming off, so maybe it's a good thing. Maybe I salvaged a little bit of it. Maybe it's not a complete trash. That's better because now it's not on there so much. And that part still looks nice. That part still eh, not thrilled, but it's better than having it all the way on the canvas the way it was before. Bubbles. I need to wipe my hands. I don't mind it in the corner. It was definitely a trash it up here, but um, let me flip this around.
You know, sometimes when I pop bu bubbles with the point, it just leaves a white bubble. So I use the flat end and just tap the bubble and then it pulls the paint up with the bubble and then there's no white spot there. Sometimes you have to kind of work at it a little bit, but um, yeah, that way then it's not a white spot. And I hold my breath. because I tend to be a little shaky. And wipe off your stick. After each one, so you don't transfer paint into another spot, especially when you're doing dark over light. Well, I generally don't really like what I do, um, but I have to say I like this one a lot. In fact, I love it. Um, I feel like I smashed it. Looks that little fuzzy corner. That needs to be there. I don't want to bore you with the corner details and all of that, but I think I smashed it. I don't think I'm going to trash it. Here's my spoon. I've got just a little spot right there. I'm just going to take some white, drip it all over the carpet. This was my daughter's bedroom. All the kids have moved out, so I stole her bedroom. She can never come back. Oh well, she can sleep in the guest bedroom. This room is like really trashed. But I'll be here until the lights go out, so I'm not moving ever, ever, ever. I don't know about you guys, but oh my gosh, just the thought of packing gives me anxiety. Okay, so there we have it. I think I smashed it. What do you guys think? I think it's really pretty. I'm very happy with it. And my lessons are paying off with Karen. So thank you, Karen. I love it. It's really, really pretty. I hope you can see it. Yes, you can. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Um, until the next one, I, I hope to get this going. Um, feedback would be great. Let me know what you feel like I might be doing wrong or right, whatever um, you want to tell me. Um, it's going to help me grow as an artist and as a uh, YouTuber. Um, I'm not, you know, um, young and savvy with all this technology, so um, I'm kind of old and not knowing what I'm doing, but I'm going to give this a whirl. So I just want to thank you all for joining me today, and I hope you are all warm. And if you're down in an area where it's nice and sunny and bright and warm, I'm very jealous, but um, I will live through you vicariously. Take care, everybody, and uh, have a nice evening. Until the next time, bye-bye.